pieces. Yeah, isn't that weird? Oh, this feels really fun. Look at the Anchorage half emptying out as we normally do. Our convoy as we leave. Well, we've got Narana, Arcuda, and M2. Really fun. So it feels almost like we're going to a whole new country. The two motos are so different. I thought I would be so much sadder leaving the Marquesas. Last couple weeks I've been like, I don't want to leave. But I feel really, really excited today. New adventures ahead. It's going to be great. Let's talk a bit about the passage. We have like five to 550 miles. Yeah, I think Something minimum, like that. Minimum 530. Minimum 530 miles to go to get to Fakarava. That will be our first atoll. So it should take four or five days. So it's not a little passage to undertake. And it also can be a rowdy one, but I think we've picked a really good weather window. Tonight we're going to see our biggest winds and then it slowly dies off to nothing on Monday. The other exciting thing about this passage is when we get to Fakarava, we will have our first atoll pass to go through. Now this is not something to be taken lightly. Fakarava is one of the easier ones, so we should be just fine. But you have to time it correctly at slack tide because as the tides change, there is a massive amount of water inside of these atolls. That water has to pass through one or two very small openings depending on the atoll. Fakarava has two passes, so all that water rushes in and out of two small areas. Anyway, we don't want to do any white water rafting in Meraki, so we're gonna try and time that one just right. It's a pretty exciting and blowy night. It's about 9.30 right now. We're still both up because kind of need two hands. Um, let's talk about speed. Okay, seven and a half, eight, 8.8, 9, 8.3, 7.6. So what's that? Kind of an, we're averaging maybe eight knots right now. Surfed down some waves and saw 10s and 11s. Hi folks at home watching. Oh technology these days hey it's amazing our sail set up we have two reefs in the main we have a full stay sail which is about 160 square feet and our Yankee which is 360 square feet so we've got a lot of quite a bit of sail up now the problem with dropping a head sail is we go way out of balance we just have really bad weather helm so I think the next step would be to put a third reef in the main which I don't know, that seems crazy to me in 30 knots. I know it's a lot of wind, but... And then dropping the head sail to balance things out again. But we're really powered up now. There's quite a big swell out here mixed in with the wind waves. And I'm worried that slowing down too much will really throw us around a lot. So we're not heeled over. I don't feel the boat is too overpowered. And it, it just feels really good. We still have the option to turn down wind if we want. We've got the wind and waves on our beam right now. I have a big smile on my face. Still got some blustery conditions out here. Sailing up wind a bit now, so that's why it seems a little crazy. Tricky passage. So far, I'm really happy with the weather we've had. It's coming up 24 hours. We've been flying along. We're gonna break our 24 hour record, absolutely. Everything's going great. Boat doesn't feel overpowered, We're not healing too bad. The waves are kicking us around a bit, but it corrects pretty quickly. Wind vane's doing amazing. I'm pretty tired. I think uh, in these conditions, just to try and keep up our speed, we're trying to keep ahead of some dead weather. It gets pretty exhausting having the boat tuned like perfect all the time. We're good, we're good. If we start getting more tired, then I think we'll reduce sail again just to rest. It's, it's the most dangerous thing out here is fatigue. Don't want to get fatigued. Yeah, we will definitely break a new 24 hour record. Previously, in 24 hours, we had 167 nautical miles as our best ever. What was it? 167. Ah. 
And in 21 hours, as of right now, we've already done 169. So blowing it out of the water and we still have three hours to go. Our catamaran friends that we were keeping up with have definitely taken off on us. M2 is behind us. They're still kind of hopping along without a main sail, but they have our little Calla Lily sail rigged up as a main, but it's like a pretty small sail. So they're a bit behind us, but I think it'll all even out when the light winds come in a couple days. destroy our record. Do you remember what it was before? Like 148 or something? 67. Oh. 167. Mm. Pretty amazing. So I can see you got into the Oreos. If you you have, have Oreos on your lips. If you have Oreos and you like licking the middle, but you also like eating it with the middle in it, you take them apart and then you lick it and then you put it back on wow. and it's just the two cookies. Dip it in milk and it tastes the exact same. Oh my goodness, so yeah. It literally recreates the white stuff. Well done. Pomple mousse. Yum! Seriously, is so delicious. It does have like really thick um, skin that you can't really chew through. So you kind of just like peel it back. Oh, this is a good piece. Look at that. Yum. Mmm. <sighs> it's so good. All right. Today is the big day for you catamaran folks out there. You miss out on this fun. But today we're playing the game that everybody knows onion escape. We've got one, two, three, four sides, and this is the bit they're all trying to get through. They're gonna try and jump this hurdle and escape to, well, just this section here. All the crowd has come out to watch the big game. We've got Captain Water Bottle. He's pretty tired today. He had a big night last night, so he's just having a rest down. We've got the two wooden doors, we've got uh, Porty and Starby, and also some humans along for the ride. Okay guys, are you ready to release the onions? Let's tip the onions up and see who wins. Oh, they're all running free now. Oh, someone's had an early crack at it. He's bogged. He can't move. What are the others going to do? Oh no, it's a traffic jam. And the bloke that Bob's got out there, another go. Oh, there's a winner here. Who's going to go? Oh no, he didn't want to go out. He got too scared. He got too scared. Oh, now there's two out. What are the others going to do? Oh, they're, oh my goodness. There's another one, Bob. We've got one, two, three out. This guy's here now. They're waiting, they're waiting, they're plotting their move. They're all taking a breath and here they go. They're going for a run. Oh, he's, oh no, he's not. But this guy here has just completely messed everybody's run up. I think this guy's had enough. And these guys are like, what, what should we do right now? He's in the way, we can't get out. Get, get out of here. We can't get out. Good morning. G'day. Bit of uh, motoring. Batteries struggling, so many clouds. And today the wind switched around forward of the beam, so I thought I'd take advantage of that and turn the engine on. That way, if the wind's behind us and we're motoring, the sails are up, we're kind of they act as like a negative parachute. So I just saw a tuna like this big leap out of the water twice and then he started heading our way and we got our line in and I was like, oh, he's gonna take it. What do you think, Tommy? Tuna for dinner? Mm, no. No? What do you think, Bentley? Tuna for dinner? <laughs> We have had a few days of very chill sailing. Actually, that's a bit of a lie. The first day and a half was a lot of work. <laughs> but yesterday just felt like the Pacific crossing again. It was so chill, so easy. Today's been pretty chill. The wind is dying off, so we've got the spinnaker up now. Timing for entering the atoll. Official slack tide for the north 
pass of Fakarava is 11.41, I believe. We do have a half hour time change, so we lose half an hour. And there's just like all these little fine details that you have to be thinking about, which in regular sailing, we never even care about the time or anything. We just show up when we show up. We gotta keep our speed up. We gotta keep going and just hope we make it there in time. If not, we have to wait basically till the next day. Well, no, there must be another slack at night, but it's in the dark and I don't know if we want to do it in the dark, so. Yeah, I just checked the timetable and the evening slack is 6 p.m. so it would be dark. That probably isn't ideal. It's 8 a.m. I just oh, rolled out of bed. Thanks, we're really close. Eight miles away. And we're just confirming what time of day it is because we think there's been a time change. It's fun! Yeah, we're in the north. We are about seven miles from the entryway, just slowing down here. Um, we have a time of 8.04 a.m. on our clocks right now and I think uh, low tide was 11.40 a.m. So we're just trying to slow down. Can you just confirm that it is 8 a.m. right now? Affirmative. Perfect. We made it in time. We sure did. We're about seven miles away. Slack tide is in a couple hours. So We've slowed we're just right at, yeah, kind of idle forward gear. And oh, I'm really happy to be here this early and just being able to suss it out and get comfortable with what we're gonna do here. It's really interesting. So different than the Marquesas is just like this tiny little sliver of land and trees. We're just bopping along, waiting, waiting. There's M2 over there. This is a bit exciting. We're not even near the entrance and it's already wish-washy. It seems like these waves are going in. And isn't the tide coming out? Oh, the tide coming out, hitting, hitting the wave waves. waves. Interesting. Oh. There's the opening about here is where we want to go through. You can see a bit of land there. And then there's a bit of land here that sticks out. So we want to kind of be right here. Yeah, it looks like M2 just went through the pass. They've got an engine that's more than twice the size of ours in horsepower, so we're just going to wait a little longer till the current comes down a bit. But we're on our way over there now, slowly, and by the time we get there, it should be just perfect. The anticipation! Oh. Why does it look so choppy? I can't believe how... Because all the water is rushing out of the lagoon right now, Bentley. It's just about to be slack. I'm really happy with how the timing has worked out. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm under the thingy. Are you it's ready? Shady. Okay, watch for bombies in the water. You said it's 30 feet deep. I don't. You never know. It's, the charts are not very accurate here. We have to be very careful and on guard. Oh. I can see the bottom. It's like right there. Are you sure it's 40 feet? Whoa. Yeah. That's wild. That was easy. <laughs> we didn't, I think there was the odd time that we went a knot slower than normal, but I didn't even let the engine go above 1800 RPM. Easy. So we just breezed through and that's that. It is so crazy cool in here. Right off our port side is the airport and it's this tiny strip of land with an airstrip and a tiny little airport. So crazy. Wow, imagine landing here. Absolutely insane. Congratulations. Yeah, this is how exciting. It's about 5.30 in the morning, I think. 
sun comes up very early in French Polynesia. Yesterday we came in the north entrance to the lagoon, so it's just kind of over there, and we came to the main village. We, the boats we were traveling with went to the south entrance, so that's 30 miles that way. Like, it's not, not close. They were faster than us, and we just weren't gonna make it during slack tide, so we decided to come to the north entrance, which is closer, enter, and then sleep last night here, instead of spending an extra night at sea, basically. And it worked out so well. But we are thinking to head south today. But first, I think, is it just Mom and I that are gonna go to town? There's a bakery here. Get some bread and hopefully some produce, maybe? But I've heard from that nasty weather that kind of got us stuck in Nukahiva, they haven't had a delivery boat come in here for a long time because the swell was so bad. But at least some bread would be good. How did you sleep? It was a bit weird, wasn't it? It's like we're on the hard. It's so still. I can hear the waves crashing on the uh, western, eastern part of the atoll right behind us. It's just like, it's like a lake. I can't explain it any other way. We've never experienced this before on any boat, have we? This still? No. For this far, look, look how far you look. All you can see is water. <laughs> it's like flat. Good morning. Hey, good morning. We woke up in paradise today. How calm was it last night? Oh my gosh, I woke up at one o'clock and I went, where am I? Because we've never been on Meraki 2 where it's dead calm. We always are moving and I did not know where I was. That's pretty funny. Hey, help us look for bombies, okay? Kevin, you're doing good in this trajectory. Okay, your point. I'll do the pointing. Uh, wow, they're beautiful actually. It's so. It's, Holy cow. It's high tide. We won't hit any. Yeah, actually, it's Bentley's crazy. right, hun. This is so beautiful. Look at the water. <gasps> oh my gosh. Yeah. Bentley. Yeah, and then. And okay. Bentley's arm. You guys. Yeah, this, this is insane. We were fishing in this Look water. Look at the white fish down there. So, pure wow. Water. Yeah. Okay, this is good. You're good. Yeah, now. we're in. We're in. Here, do you want to take the line, sweetie? Wow! Look at this. I can't believe we're here. I can smell it. Do you smell it? This guy. Um. <laughs> good way to live. All gone at 6.30. Wow. Yeah, and no baguettes? No, the baguettes is behind. Okay, messy. Oh, they're warm. That's exciting. I'm going to get four. Okay. Wow, these are beautiful. This is where the produce would be, and there is nothing. A couple of onions. Do you see the price on that cereal? Should I buy that, or is that ridiculous? Uh, it's kind of like you just, it is what it is, like, right? I, we're almost out of cereal. You need it then. Kind of crazy though, $26. Playing the ukulele. Look how clean they keep I know, it. it's amazing. Like, it's immaculate. I just love, I love this place. By some miracle, we stumbled upon a store that had just received their produce delivery and we were able to stock up on so much delicious fresh produce. There's sharks! <gasps> Over there, there's sharks! Look, look, he's look at the oh, family! Because we'll hit them. We won't hit them. Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! That was crazy! 
very basking spot. Wow, what a creature, hey? They're beautiful. Their side, the gills where they're breathing. Do you see that? Yeah. Oh, that is so amazing. You guys, I can't believe this. I feel like I'm in a dream right now. <laughs> what is happening? Wow, do we have enough stuff, you guys? I think we've had a very successful shopping trip, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, they are big. I can't believe we're here. It is really, really wild here. We have the spit of land right here. We've got some little islands off our starboard side, but nothing else cannot see the other side of the atoll. And we're just motoring along. There's no wind today, but we really want to get south. So we're just going for it. We didn't really wait for wind today, which is not like us. <laughs> Tripping heads. <laughs> yeah. Ready? I am. What are we doing? We're about half an hour away from anchoring here at the South Pass at Fakarava. Fakarava. And I think we have to float our chain. So that just consists of dropping our anchor as normal, but once hitting the ground, letting a little bit more chain out and then tying a fender onto it and then dropping more chain out tying another fender, dropping more chain out, tying another fender, dropping more chain out, and that's it. Mick made that sound so easy. We went into our first attempt of floating our chain, feeling pretty confident and prepared. We had sourced Pearl Farm floats from a local in town earlier that day, and we had a good understanding of what needed to happen, but it was much easier said than done. Well, it's really hard to see because the cloud has come out for our arrival, which is unfortunate. Full sun is better to see in the ocean, but I think we found some sand. Um, Whoa, just, what is that? It just came up 10 feet. I hear. What is that? It's it? like a great barracuda. It's a great barracuda. Okay, this way a bit, Mick. I see my spot. We had friends in the water helping us out, and eventually we made it happen. You're getting Thomas to snorkel stuff out. I feel like right here is really good. Yeah, I'm gonna go, Mick. Yeah, we need to reposition now, we drifted. Okay, can you go this way please? Right here. Where were we before? Over here? Okay, go to where Meg is. I'm sorry, I got turned around. Okay, I have to do a ball, Mick. Really? <laughs> to start reversing now. I feel that. Okay, I think we have to come up. Mark, you're a legend. What will we do without you? <coughs> oh, shark. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, the battery died. I don't know when, but that was a bit of a shit show. Thankfully, we have a great support crew. I'm sure we'll do it better the second time, but that felt a little bit overwhelming. I jumped in and checked. I don't know. I think it looks really good, Mick. I agree. I think there are a lot of bombies, and it's a tricky spot, especially for our first spot. But I think we did well. I think we could possibly get snagged on one of the smaller bombies, but we will be able to get it unsnagged because it's not like we're going to wrap around and around and around. We might have a little edge on one. <sighs> Cheers. That was crazy. Sorry for the things I said while we were anchoring. I thought that went brilliant. I'm just saying, I think that's a t-shirt. Oh, okay, a yeah. Saying. No. I apologize fine. for the things I said while I was angry. There's definitely a bit of uh, high tensions going on through that process.
We've recently partnered with a fellow sailor who started SkipperBlogs.com, a fantastic tracking website that seamlessly integrates with your AIS, Garmin in Reach, and so much more. You can build your own blog through Skipper Blogs or integrate a tracking map into your pre-existing website or blog. We always felt like we were missing a great tracker because we don't use Iridium Go. Now we have complete control over a great tracker and we're excited to share our live location with friends and family. If you're interested in learning more, we've popped the link to Skipper Blogs in the description below. Check it out!